Hello, I am Greg Smith. I am a drone pilot associated with DroneSAR, Drone Search and Rescue for Lost Dogs. DroneSAR is a Facebook group created and managed by Graham Burton and coordinates with doglost.co.uk. This is my short story about finding Jack. Jack is a small terrier and was out walking with his dad. Although Jack was on a long training lead, he decided he wanted to take a diversion under a gate leading into a building site. Unfortunately, the gate was both too low and too high for the owner to negotiate. They searched everywhere and contacted doglost.co.uk along with Dronesar. The search was on. Poor Jack spent the night alone by the seaside. The following day there was still no sign of him. At four in the afternoon I returned from a cycling trip. I looked at my notifications on Facebook and noticed I'd been sent a notification from Dronesar to do a drone search of the area. I promptly rang Maureen, Jack's mum, and said I would meet up with her at the area he was lost. Fifteen minutes later we got together at a place where Jack was originally lost and the owner of the house close by kindly let me take off from his lawn. I quickly went up to about two to three hundred feet and conducted a recce along the edge of the cliffs and also scanned the surrounding open countryside around about a mile area but also the light was fading. I change my batteries every 25 minutes. I carry four batteries so that gives me a fairly good search window. So having searched the surrounding countryside, it was a good time to return to replace my batteries. I hovered over the building site at about 100 feet. I've learnt to stay in one place for up to 5 minutes as this enables me to spot any movement. I slowly moved along a series of stacks of building blocks. I saw a movement and I thought it might be Jack, but I wasn't sure as it could have been a cat or something. I discovered when I returned and looked on the big screen, in fact it was a rabbit. I moved along these stacks of blocks around the back thinking that what moved would have run possibly around the back and this prompted me to go along to the edge of this road. As I moved around the road there was a stack of bushes or trees and I saw a movement just on the edge of them. Lo and behold that was Jack. I told Maureen, the owner, that I'd seen a movement and she looked under the gate. I said, can you see anything? She said, I'm looking at him. Well, I have to say, the feeling was unbelievable. The problem was we still couldn't get at him. The gate was too low and too high to get over. So I promptly rang my son, Alex, who was 10 minutes away. And he dashed down to the site, promptly rolled under the gate and managed to retrieve Jack. Alex tried to say hello to Jack, 
But Jack wasn't going to have any of that. All he wanted was his mum. So Alex traced the lead back and managed to untangle it as it had got caught between two curb stones. Well, as you can see, Jack and Maureen were quite happy to see each other. The experience was amazing. It was a mixture of nervousness when I turned up to adrenaline when I found him. Quite an adventure for Jack, but let's hope he doesn't go on another one anytime soon. And of course, the real hero of this story is the rabbit.